Hi, my name is Angela Barkhouse and today I'm creating a shadow box using an 8x10 stretch canvas frame. This is how the canvas looked before I got started. To prep the canvas, I applied two layers of gesso to the inside portion of the canvas, allowing each layer to dry completely before applying the next layer. This helped to stiffen the canvas. Next, I painted the wooden area of the canvas black. To cover the staples of the canvas, I applied some extra pieces of canvas that I had. Then to create the background, I tore several pieces of colored tissue paper, randomly placing them into the canvas. Once they were all placed on the canvas, I used decoupage finish to apply over the top of each piece. Here is a look of the completed canvas once it was dry. As you can see, I've already applied these string pearls using score tape. While I waited for the canvas to dry, I die cut the following pieces. Grand Decorative Ovals number 4 from Black Cardstock, Grand Decorative Ovals number 3 from White Cardstock, and the picture of my beautiful daughter on her wedding day, I used the Petite Oval Large number 2. I also die cut the Nested Lacy Pennants number 1 from Burlap, and I die cut several of the Bitty Blossoms from Die Cuts with a View paper. The first step is to place the photo onto the canvas. Next, I made the banner using letters from the Just Right Curls Alphabet and Memento Tuxedo Black ink. The pieces are attached to a piece of wire and I added tiny little pearls in between each layer. Then I add it to my canvas. <coughs> and make adjustments as I go. Next, I added, we'll add the corner pieces using foam tape. This will also help cover up the wire and hide the wire. Next, I take the bitty blossoms that I've already assembled and apply them to my canvas. I think the bitty blossoms are one of my favorite dyes to use. I love making these flowers, they're so pretty. Next, I take the decorative buttons that I have and apply them randomly. I like to use the tweezers. It helps get them into the spots easier. I have this little dress that I'm going to place in the corner here. I found these decorative wedding bands in my stash and thought that they fit the theme perfectly. So I'm going to add those down here. I also hung a cake charm from the bottom of them. Just like that. And then my final piece is the word Cherish. It's a metal embellishment that I found, and I thought that it fit into the theme of the day since it was my daughter's wedding day. I it right there. And this is the final piece. I hope you find it as beautiful as I do. It was so much fun to design and create. 
Have a great day. Thank you.